Welcome to OSCE Tips for Student Vet Nurses with Jane RVN. I hope you enjoy the video. Hi everyone, it's Jane RVN. Sorry for the odd angle, but I suspect you're looking at equipment and realising we have a little puppy, we have a lovely urinary bag, and so we are going to do the collection of urine from a closed collection set. Um, first thing I need to say is I haven't got any aprons so I'm going to mock up an apron by wearing a um, gown so don't have a panic that you have to be sterile for this. It's purely so that I can demonstrate getting rid of any waste at the end. So we have our patient, we have our urine. I am going to stand up and go out of shot just for a sec and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what I'm doing. So you're going to enter. Chances are the apron will probably be outside just because there's not much space. So I'm going to put my apron on. Yes, it's sleeved. Promise you don't have to be sterile, but it's so that you get the picture. I have my patient here. I know that I have to fill in a hospital sheet and I have to do a calculation. If you want to do the calculation and the majority of the hospital sheet first, that's okay. I will bring this here and I'll take a photo and put it up as well for the calculation, just so that you can see. And I know you'll hate me for saying it's simple, but the maths is the calculation of urine of one to two mils per kilo per day. You're not having to work out if that's the right amount it's passed for the time the catheter's been in. It's purely a standalone calculation. So one to two mils per kilo per hour for 24 hours is what it's going to be. And I'll pop a picture up at the end. You will also do hand wash at some point in this task, beginning or end. Choice is really yours because it doesn't say that you're clean when you go in or that you have got contaminated and you need to be clean in the way out. If you're worried, do it first um, so you get it out of the way. And we've got a Who Hand Wash video already done. So I will go in. I'm going to pop gloves on because I am going to be touching the bag. Bag needs to remain below patient at all times. So don't be tempted to go in. Oh, sorry, I'm being really rubbish putting these on. Don't be tempted to go in and start picking the bag up because this isn't we know this isn't accurate for telling us what's in it so my patient is recumbent I know that this is freshly put in because the exam tells me so it's in place there appears to be no urine leaking I'm going to pick up some tissue or I could do this with my glove and I'm doing a visual check down I'm checking to see if there's any urine or any liquid going on my tissue but I'm also visually checking for any cracks or any leaks or any signs of discoloration. This is connected at the catheter, it is connected at the bag and the bag is not leaking. So therefore I can make the assumption that what is going to come out of here is the correct amount of urine. So I'm going to lift this up so you can see it. This bag's technique is literally pop it to the side and it opens and it's trickling in already. I'm going to hold it to make sure that everything comes out. Little shake, close. I'm just going to hold this and then I'm going to make sure that that's clean. Then this, I need to put this on a flat surface to read it. If you're not shaking in the exam, yes, you could read it holding, but don't rely on your hands to not shake. And that in here is 50 mils that I have. So then I am now going to dispose. And you'll note my comedy error that I have not. So this would be absorbent waste. So I pour in there, get rid of, and you will pour it in in the exam. Then I want to get rid of apron, gloves, bit of tissue, anything that I think may well have been contaminated, get rid of, and that will go in the waste as well. I'm only putting it behind because my waste bin is very small. And that is the task. The bag is back below the patient. Everything is intact. And we will head on to 
the calculation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like the new videos emailed to your inbox and join me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at JaneRVN. You can also access my blogs, videos and more at janerrvn.com.